And we're back. Welcome, viewers. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing. Don't forget to click like. Okay, so today, <laughs> today, <laughs> it's okay, you guys can feel free to talk. Put your phone away, Link. Phone, thank you. Okay, what we're going to do today is we're going to look at rotations in a slightly different way. So we don't have to have the rules memorized in order to figure out where, when we rotate a point, where it's going. Okay? So, you guys already know Cartesian coordinate system, right? You know, this is the first quadrant, quadrant one, quadrant two, three, and four, right? It goes in a big C. Does this look familiar? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. The coordinates in quadrant one are what signs? Plus, plus. Okay. Quadrant two is minus. minus. Plus. This is the x axis. This is the y axis. Minus plus. 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 Minus plus. Minus plus. So this is minus plus. Good. I was just repeating what you said. Yeah. Minus 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 minus. Okay. When you have a point that you are rotating, we're going to start with the easy one, 180 degrees. Okay, this point for our viewers, you might not be able to see it, it's a little, the light's a little off this block. When we rotate 180 degrees, we are rotating two quadrants. So right now it's in the first quadrant, this point. We rotate 180 degrees. Jack, put that down, look up here. One quadrant, two quadrants. Two quadrants, right? So it moved from the first quadrant to what quadrant is that? Third. Third. The third quadrant. Okay? So we're not changing the x and the y axis. Okay? My fingers are on the x axis. We flip it upside down. The x axis is the same place. When we rotate 90 degrees, the x axis changes with the y axis. Right? 180 does not change. Okay? So our coordinates, our x and y numbers are not going to change. They're going to stay in the same places. But we're going to have some different um, positive and negative values. Okay? So if I move this point down here, that 3 and that 7, this is the x and this is the y, they're not going to change positions. But what, what are the signs going to be? Negative. We're in the third quadrant. So this is going to be negative 3, negative 1, 2, 3. Okay. That is what this rule says. How are we doing? Great. Okay, now what happens if we had a point that was in the second quadrant? Which quadrant would that move to? 180 degrees, Four. clockwise or counterclockwise. Either way, Four. we're still moving Four. two Four. quadrants, right? Four. One, two, or one, two. All right? So it's going to move from the second one, second quadrant, to the fourth Four. quadrant. Okay? The numbers would stay the same because the x and y axis is not changing. But then you look at the signs in this uh, quadrant to determine what your signs for your numbers will be. Are you good? Okay, 90 degrees, a little bit more complicated. Okay. Okay, ready? 90 degrees, when you rotate 90 degrees, let's do clockwise, like the clock. The x-axis and the y-axis change places, right? Whoa. So that is why your x and your y change in your rules. clockwise and 270 counterclockwise. We're going to talk about why those are the same. We got another rule for 90 degrees counterclockwise. Okay? We're just going to use, we're going to make one rule for both of them. Okay? Here it is. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, let's rotate this point 90 degrees clockwise. It's going from the first quadrant to which quadrant? 
to the fourth quadrant, right? Notice the x-axis and the y-axis, they're changing, right? My finger to the end of the x-axis. When I rotate 90 degrees clockwise, now we, it's the y-axis, right? If you do 90 degrees counterclockwise, the axis is still going to change, okay? That is why the x and the y coordinates are changing. Back to the rules. You notice in this rule, x, y, y, x. In this rule, x, y, y, x, okay? We haven't addressed the signs yet. The signs are easy because we already know how to do with signs, okay? So all we have to do for 90 degrees is, depending on which way we're going, okay? We're just going to... I'm recording! Okay, so we are going to rotate 90 degrees, change the X and the Y, and then depending on whichever quadrant we're in, we're going to look at the signs, and that's going to be our, our signs for our new. Okay, so let's try it. So if I'm going to rotate this point 37, um, let's do it clockwise <coughs> first. Okay, so clockwise, it's going to go from quadrant 1 to quadrant 4. The axis is changing, right? So that means the numbers are going to switch. So now, what are the signs going to be? Switch, and then we have a positive x and a negative y. So that's going to be 7, That's it. Okay, let's go the other way. What if we needed to go in a different color? Probably won't be able to see as well in the video, but that's okay. We'll use blue. 90 degrees counterclockwise. Okay? Our x and our y axis is still changing. So these numbers are going to switch places. Now, what are the signs in this quadrant? Okay, so we have negative 7, positive. And the only thing different about 270 is you're going the other way. 270 is 390s. So 90 degrees clockwise boop, is the same thing as 270 counterclockwise. One, two, three. Okay, 90 degrees clockwise boop, is the same thing as 270 counterclockwise. One, two, three. Are we good? Okay, let's go over our homework problem using this new method. I think it's, I think it's easier than using the rules. But if you like the rules, use the rules. Okay, we're gonna start with, start with A. First point. Ah, I gotta keep doing that. And yes. All right, A. On your homework, everyone have your homework out? Okay. Mm -hmm. A is at 1, 3 currently. We are moving clockwise, so it's going to go from quadrant 1 to quadrant 4. Okay. And where is it going to be? The signs in this quadrant are? Okay. So we are, are we going to change the x and the y axis? Yes. 90 degrees. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so those are going to flip, and we are in the fourth quadrant. So where is it going to? There it is. I'm oh, sorry, that was C. I started with C, didn't I? This is A. Sorry, I, this is C. I started with I reread that because C was A moves to A prime, where C is at. All right, let's try A. Sorry about that. Are you okay with where C goes? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now this is good because now we're starting in a different quadrant. We started in quadrant one and went to quadrant four, and now we're going to start in quadrant two. And where are we going to move to? Quadrant one. Okay. So we are initially starting at coordinates are negative three, one. 
So we're going to the first quadrant. Love that. Easy, right? Positive, positive. So we... And then... Done. And there's your A prime. One, three. What do you think? Is it easier than the rules? Yes. Mm -hmm. You only have to remember one thing, and if you can use your knowledge about the coordinate system, you should be good to go. All right, we're done. Awesome. It's not magic, right? It's math, right? Should I sing? 24 karat magic in the air. Head to toe, my player. All right, we're done.